And um, so we'll be jumping into the game in a second, guys. There you go. Bit of a snafu, but it's all fixed now. Mad Ball going to be picking up that LG, but he's in for a nasty surprise as Lesney is right on his back right there, just not giving him a single chance to breathe. And he's going to actually make the frag in the chaos amidst all that craziness. Lesney comes out on top, looking for this next red armor. In a bit of a hard position, though, this lower level as Mabel reigns the rockets in. Finally, the rail to finish him off. So Lesney, a little bit too early to that red, and Mabel punishes. I mean, that's the thing with Toxicity. You just have to look back to, I think it was Strengths and Rafa playing this map. Rafa hit 90% Railgun against Strengths. All you need to hit is Railgun on this map. If you can hit that much, you can pretty much lock out your opponent from almost anywhere. Obviously, your Lightning Gun, your Railgun helps, but uh, uh, Lightning Gun and Rocket, sorry, but Railgun is extremely important. And Mabel now moving back towards this red. Oh, beautiful double rocket there as he just picks off Lesney. And it was just too easy to read for Mabel, uh, it seems, as he finds Lesney once again waiting for that lower yellow. But Mabel is going to take that for himself. He is greedy. He wants everything on the map, and he is doing it beautifully right now. Yeah, really a strong performance. And he has full control of the map. Toxicity is one of those maps where if you stand in the middle, you can hit all spawns. That's the beauty of having a strong railgun as well. The red armor is going to be stolen away. Cheeky little move, and the LG is going to push Mantle back a little bit. But again, just look at the railguns being railed down by Mantle. Eliminates all of that armor almost. One more railgun would do it as well. And he's just waiting now in position to drop down toward the uh, yellow armor and just keep on railing down these rails. Wow, and Leslie's missing a little bit too much there. Mabel hitting two rails in a row. And if we look at the armor that his opponent picked up, that leaves him with no armor. It's Leslie, a very, very low Leslie right now. And Mabel has not suffered much at all. And he's going to swing back onto the Mega in time. Here we go. Oh, Leslie just grabbing it. Just barely in time. Escapes as well. So Mabel. He's in a bit more of a precarious situation as he's deciding to take a little bit of a bath in the acid. And eight health remains. He looks for the rail and Leslie knows to pick him off with the MG. He's so weak. He's got huge balls, I'll give him that, Lesney. Is uh, there comes the railgun to find the flag as well. Five to two now on the board. Lesney now in full control. There's nothing up on the map for quite a while either on as well. So if he gets a free kill here, that's going to be good news for him moving forward. But at the same time, if he takes a lot of damage, that could be good news for Madball. If, uh, yeah. I'm surprised my ball didn't just push through and look for a kill trade to get one of these items off the spawn. But here we go, a bit of a battle here as the 225s are going to assist Madball, but down to 20 HP. And things are going either way at the moment, do think? Yeah, definitely. I love the response there from Madball as Lesney hit that first nice rail, and then Lesney caught on the side by Madball's awesome precision as he now tries to search for some health. He's in a bit of a nasty spot. Luckily, though, Mega's not so soon, so he's not going to be pressure to try to take a fight you can have the time to stack up a little bit get that health back before moving onto that mega which is going to spawn right now and he's trying to get on there but he's a little bit slow doesn't want to force the position instead backs off to the red Mabel tries to punish him though as he picks it up and does hit the one rail that is required and Leslie now he's under constant pressure from Mabel who is just unrelenting oh wow Nice railgun as well to find the kill. Lesney slowly bringing himself back into this. Madball responding, but at the same time just doesn't have the item set to keep up with Lesney's onslaught at the moment. Although another great railgun. If you look at his accuracy, you wouldn't expect that he's only hitting 34% of the DK. He's hitting all the railguns that matter. Madball, and that's a great direct as well. The frag comes in. Six to three. Mega health is a gift. Red armor's up for him. Has to be careful for a dropping Lesney, as he is extremely wow. low. But a direct rocket will keep him in the game. The red armor picked up the 50 HP as well, and this is going to gift him full control. The yellow armor as well, and uh, yeah, I can't stop talking at the moment as the action comes in. Eight to three. Yeah, that, there was one really interesting sort, of very uh, smart spot there from Mabel. As Leslie was really stacked, and he was predicting that Mabel was going to drop in for the red that was up. But Mabel stayed close range. His only advantage, he used it. Double rocket close range. That got him back in the game. And we can see him now just able to string the frags together by hitting the right shots. And the timing is fantastic. Just getting straight up there into Lesney's face. Picks him off again. Lesney knows that he's low, though. And Lesney, he is not going to let up on the aggression now. He knows that Mabel is just so close to death he's knocking at death's door right now yeah i'm just trying to see if the 50 hp is up and it is so leslie has got to be aware that that's probably what mad Ball's planning to go to next and this is a good trap he knows exactly where he is so if he can just hit three oh more machine God. gun bullets the pack would come in LG will finish him off and uh, yeah mega health to come up soon 
So this is really important for Leslie now. He's six frags behind. He really needs to swing the momentum back in his favor to tie up the game before this gets too out of hand. Leslie now through the teleporter. Here goes. Wants to take this fight as close range as possible. Into the face of Mabel. There is. Rockets coming out. Oh, he's missing a little bit too much. Mabel, that dodging, that jumping on the crate proves to be the secret strategy that might just do it. 17 health after that clutch rail right at the end there. Mabel is going to try to follow this up. He knows that Leslie's screaming. Good prediction, Rocket. And indeed, I'm struggling to stop talking as well. The action is coming in so fast here on Toxicity. Yeah, it really is one of those maps that's just always exciting to watch for the most part. And Mad Bull, 91 to 13 at the moment. The Ralgan's going to finish him off. 80 damage per shot, guys. Don't forget that. So straight off the storm, the red armor is coming up. Lesney with the plasma gun, the strongest weapon in the game. Wow. In full fashion. Oh my god. Just like, get out now. Just pushing him straight out with the plasma. But he cannot hit the shot as uh, Mabble jumps onto that mega. Mabble actually getting Lesney down to the screaming levels of health. And that's going to tell Mabble a lot about the state of Lesney right now. But Lesney's going to go for this 50. Has it mid fight when he takes the LG versus Mabble. But it's not enough. Mabble will survive. Fall onto the red. And this is really, really bad for Lesney now. Four minutes and he's got to do something with his rockets. He cannot do a single thing. 100, 100 stack for Mabble. And this could be the moment where Mabble, he strings a few rails together, just completely blows up the game. Yeah, this is going to be really tough because by the time Leslie's going to get in a position to deal damage, the 50 HP is going to come up. Madball knows it. He picked it up last time, so not only is he going to be picking up mega health every 35, but the 50 HP, all the armors, uh, this is slowly falling away from Leslie, and he's going to have to hit absolutely phenomenal plasma to keep himself in. And actually, Madball mistiming the red here. I don't think he realized it was picked up. At the very least, he hit a direct rocket, so Leslie is in as crappy a a state as himself. The yellow there will help him try to challenge for some positions, not have to be too afraid to take fights, but it's getting a bit risky now. He's getting quite low, taking the risk of shooting that rail in the face of the LG. He's going to fall back onto the red, which will help him, but the mega is going to go to Lesney. This is such an important moment for Lesney. He's got to get a frag soon. He needs to turn this around. Only three minutes left for him. Yeah, three minutes is going to be plenty to find the frags he needs. He's just got to do them almost cleanly because if he doesn't, there's going to be items and weapons on the map and we've seen what Madball can do off the spawn with plasmas and all that like of things. So, just got to be clean kills here for Lesney between these items and almost a free one there as Madball narrowly escapes through the teleporter. Yeah, he's doing fantastic. Rocket jump up though. Madball with very good prediction to place the rockets to stop him and that's going to... Give him some breathing room as Lesney falls back onto that mega health. Gets to the aid as well. But now after that yellow, Lesney's got to be thinking about finding this next frag. Red is not immediately spawning, so he has a little bit of time to push out for pressure. But he doesn't want to give up on that key position. Finally going for the drop. And the pressure is on as Lesney tries to escape this position. It's going <laughs> to fail the rocket jump. And the pressure is so on right now. He needs to make it happen from this stack. He needs to make it happen. I think at um, this point for Madball, all he has to do is deal damage. So even if that Madball goes down, he'll be able to come off the spawn with a good weapon, then take either respond with a kill or just keep Lesney so low that he's not going to be able to find frags in succession. This is almost a sure win for Madball, providing it deals this damage. Just escape here, doesn't need to deal another Railgun. And he's obviously not going to be there for the Mag Health. It's not spawning for 25, but just one minute and 23 seconds now remaining here in the map. There comes a great opening rocket. Can't finish off for the second. Lesney still has an opportunity here there's gonna be no nice. red armor for Madball and again just looking for the spawn for eggs Lesney exactly the right thing we're seeing from him now yeah we can see Lesney definitely I, th I think feeling the pressure and I feeling the nerves as he charges in onto Madball again off the spawn Madball he is gonna be worrying so much right now getting caught spawn after spawn after spawn Madball goes down making it a 13 to 10 game now as Lesney claws his way back 50 seconds now for the three thrags to tie up the game Lesney he can calm down a little bit but it's still going to be really tough to make this happen Mabble has gotten gotten him really weak and that's the position that Mabble's looking for as you said to prevent Lesney from getting spawns in succession but now it's just two this thing, I kind of feel like Madball should have just kept up the aggression, not wait, maybe just try and find the threat because that's all that would have been needed. But just 30 seconds now remaining. Lesney's going to pick up the yellow armor. Railgun will connect, but now Madball on the defensive side. The frag comes in, 13 to 12. One frag apiece now. 20 seconds to tie things up, go to overtime. The mega health goes to Lesney. You can see Madball below comes charging through with the lightning gun. Madball, some great defensive oh. Lesney ties it up though. 13 to 13, 10 seconds remaining, and the red armor for Lesney, DDK. And that 50 spawned as 
as he ran over it and he's going to charge in for the next frag. Can he get it before time? He does and he wins the match. Lesney, with not even a second left, takes the frag to prevent overtime and to win. 14 to 13 against Madball, who was leading the entire game.